Um, so the Sloan Lab, looking back to build future shared collections, is um, led by me in UCL, and we also have co-eyes in, in addition to UCL, in the Natural History Museum and in the British Library. I believe you have the list of project partners to hand, so I won't rehearse that list now for the purposes of time, but we can return to that list um, if that's useful. And I've been asked to focus on what the project is aiming to achieve. So I'm just going to remind you a little bit um, of the context from which the aims of the project arise. So Sir Hans Sloane's death in 1753 led to the creation of Britain's first um, national collection. Bought by the state on behalf of the nation, Sloane's collection was made freely, freely available uh, for all through what was then a new institution, the British Museum. Sloan's vast collection includes uh, natural history and pharmaceutical specimens, uh, books, manuscripts, prints, drawings, coins and other objects from across the world. And as I catch a glimpse of my background here, you, you, it may occur to you that I'm actually trying to um, summon the spirit of, of Sloan, but uh, those of you who know the uh, Enlightenment um, Gallery in the British Museum will know that the, the, uh, the Sloan's collection is even richer than what you see uh, behind me here. Um, assembled from the 1680s onwards, it was in part financed by the profits of the transatlantic slave trade, and the collection was made as Britain was becoming a global trading and imperial power. Today it has continued value and meaning. It's a site, a site for communities to discover histories, for scientists to understand the past natural world, for institutions to discover stories, to engage audiences, and it's a place to question the origins and the colonial legacies of the Western Museum. <clears throat> But anybody who wants to use or interrogate this particular funding collection is hampered by it is by the way that it's now spread across three institutions, the Natural History Museum, the British Library and the British Museum. And it's catalogued in at least five different digital cataloging systems, which naturally reflect the different needs of um, disciplines and institutional histories. So the outcome is that there's no single accessible catalogue of the original collection or what exists of it still today. Some of the original uh, collection has been lost, swapped, discarded, perhaps even destroyed. Most of Sloan's original handwritten catalogues of the collection are extant, but not all. And he and his manuenses would have catalogued different parts of the collection in different ways. So the, the main overarching aim of the project then is to digitally reunite this first national collection um, with an emphasis on the information that describes it, both in Sloan's early modern catalogues and in the relevant section, sections of the cataloging, the present day cataloging systems of the BM, NHM and BL. And we really see the challenges of uniting this first national collection as a microcosm of those faced in bringing together other UK uh, collections to help audiences learn, benefit and uh, use them. Um, so those challenges include those technical challenges of how to select, enrich and release collections as data. The challenges of helping others search collections for different reasons in the vocabulary that they would like to choose rather than the vocabulary that's used by computer scientists, digital humanists, curators and so on. The challenge of creating searchable digital collections from early modern manuscripts and what seems to me perhaps the most exciting and challenging of all those challenges of identifying and visualizing the negative spaces of gaps and ethical grey areas for all those who use uh, shared digital collections. So the Sloan Lab aims to address these challenges through what is a, a very much a participatory approach. We'll begin by seeking to learn what diverse people, interested in expert communities and heritage institutions um, seek from a digital national collection. Um, and I think this brings us to the second overarching aim of the project, which is to 
um, involve a broad range of, of people and communities, and also to um, devise participatory methodologies that can influence the future of the Digital National Collection. So moving from, uh, moving to conclude, um, uh, from the um, more kind of a conceptual overview that I've given you, I'm just going to close by summarizing um, a few of the main intended outcomes of the project. So the, the chief outcome, I guess, is the public facing open access Sloan Lab, and that will have the data, the tools and the services that can support cross collection search and digitally augmented exploration and reuse of uh, Sloan's collection. Um, the Second um, aim, I think, is um, or, or one of our crucial aims as far as our participatory involvement involvement goes, is um, that the research capacity unlocked by the lab will be exemplified through a trans institutional case study across the BM, the BL, and UCL. Um, but sorry, across the um, BM, NHM, and UCL, and also that we will offer um, stipendiums to up to 10 community fellows in digital collections. And we will invite them to undertake up to three months of creative, artistic or critical engagement with any aspect of the Sloan Labs, data collections, tools and demonstrators. And we will obviously facilitate them in that so that they're not required to know programming or, or or whatever skills uh, might uh, hinder them from doing this. And um, in order for those exploitative and colonial aspects of the Sloan Collection's historical formation to be critically re-examined and, and acknowledged, five of those 10 fellowships will be ring-fenced for people from a black and or global majority um, uh, context. And then the final um, outcome that I would mention is that we hope for a touring exhibition with partner museums um, to be de developed around prominent objects in Sloan's collection, objects that we will learn more about in the course of this research, and ideally also interweaving some of the projects of our community fellows. Thank you.